Good morning, everyone. Saturday morning. It is December 31st. It is New Year's Eve, and I want to wish each and every one of you a prosperous and healthy 2023 as we draw our 2022 season to an end, of course. I'm battling a little cold here, but of course, I'm up trying to do my business. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for the support that you've given us here. We've had a bunch of fun. Um, you know, I guess the takeaway of the year was probably the Derby upset, right? Uh, that would be the probably the highlight of the year for sure. And the biggest surprise, if you ask me. And as we move into 2023, just want to let you know we're going to be putting out a new tip sheet, uh, which will feature all stake races for those weekends. Every weekend, we'll cut across four or five platforms or racetracks and pull out all the uh, major stake races and put them on one tip sheet for 25 bucks. It's a lot of work, so it's a little more than our typical tip sheet. I thought it was a good idea and we're going to try to do it. And of course, our regular tip sheet for any track in North America will still be available. So please continue to support us. We do appreciate all of your uh, efforts and support over the last two and a half years for sure. Well, let's get 2023 off to a start. We're going to start with our very first stake race to Smarty Jones out there at Oakland Park. On Sunday, that's right, January 1, 2023. It's a field of eight of three-year-old Colts going a flat mile for $250,000. And a very nice uh, race. I'm not sure if any of these are Derby Dreaming, but they're three years old. So you're always Derby Dreaming if you got a three-year-old doing the year that the Derby is going to run. We're going to start in with our top pick, and I'm going right to McPeak's horse. I like both of McPeaks and McPeaks. Well, he's got Dennington. Dennington, the number six horse, is four to one on the morning line. Going in, looks like a cut below a couple of these in here speed figure wise. But the number six horse looks like this horse could go forward. One win from five starts, one second. By that sire, gun runner for sure, and congrats on the back end. It's McPeak and McPeak, right? Kenny McPeak knows what he's doing. This horse comes out of the Kentucky Jockey uh, Club uh, Stakes on November uh, 25th. Uh, ran fifth uh, only by one and a half lengths to Instant Coffee and Curly Jack. Back in 36 days, uh, cutting back from a mile and 16 to a mile. Speed figures need to improve a little bit, but I think there's an upside to Dennington. I like the pace numbers on this horse. I like the spacing in between his races. And again, Ariata is uh, the rider, like him as a Florida rider, but he's a fairly decent rider if you ask me. And I like McPeak's horse here, Dennington. He's going to be our top pick in this year's Smarty Jones. Our first pick of the year, for sure. And our second pick, I guess I would be a little remiss if I didn't take the other Kenny McPeak horse. And I actually think this one may be a little better than the other one, Den uh, Dennington. But still, that be as it may, the number five horse. Well, again, the number five is trained by Kenny McPeak. Ten days later, ten days later is seven to two on the morning line. Has the exact record of a uh, stable mate, Dennington. Five starts, one win, and three thirds. They did pay eighty thousand for this one in the September Keeneland twenty twenty one sale. The horse is by collected, and uh, again McPeak is the trainer, and they got my boy David Cabrera in the yards, the one that always ride rated R superstar. Well, ten days later, exit an allowance race at uh, Churchill um, on the twenty fifth. The 26th of uh, November, 36 days, the exact same spacing as his stable mate, our top pick to number six. We think this horse has tremendous upside as well as a young three year old. And again, we think the peak is going to be very strong in the Smarty Jones. The number six, um, Dennington, McPeak, the number five, 10 days later, McPeak. We like six five here. Yeah, we're calling for a McPeak and a McPeak exacta for sure. We like 6-5, our first and second pick in here. But to be really honest, 
with you. The horse to probably be is the horse on the far outside. Now, you know I'm going to have a little problem with the number eight hole in a uh, flat mile. I don't like to bet horses outside the six and seven hole, uh, particularly in two turns. But victory formation is six to five on the morning line. Not only is he an underlay, he may be court wide, has enough speed to get out, get over, and relax, but he will have to use his horse to do so. Okay? Vic Vic victory formation is undefeated in two for two. So I guess the horse should be, um, you know, the favorite here, and the connections don't help either. It's Brad Cox and all his big head horses. You know, Brad Cox got this victory victory formation and he went and got the services of Flavian Pratt. The horse should get out and get over provided that he doesn't miss the break. The speed figures of his two races undefeated increased nicely. So coming back off of a 36 day layoff um, turning three from a two year old this looks like a good spot for the number eight. My only knock on the number eight horse is the fact that uh, the horse is outside, it's one mile, but the way the horse has been managed in his last two starts, um, six and a half for a six and a half, six and a half for a long, then a six for a long. The horse has a bunch of speed, so you really shouldn't get court wide into the first turn by no means. Uh, the only other horse I think could go with the number eight is the uh, three horse. I think it's communication memo. So the number eight to me is clearly the horse to beat. I'm not willing to take him or dismiss him at six to five. I just want to see if this horse can get out and get over and relax and take him two turns for the first time. Now the horse is by tap right uh, on the back end by smart strike. Uh, that is a pretty cute way they named this horse. Victoria form Victory Formation. But it is Brad Cox. You do have Flavian Pratt. Together, that team is about 33%. So, again, the connection is going to draw a lot of money on your favorite, the number eight. And maybe the horse to beat in here, for sure. Victory Formation must be taken very, very serious in this year's Smarty Jones. I'm just going to give you three out of the eight. Of course, we like both the McPeak's horse. The now top pick is going to be Dennington uh, at 4 to 1. Our second pick is going to be the second Kenny McPeak horse two days later at 7 to 2. And our third pick and solid, solid contender in here, the number 8, Victoria, Victoria, Victory Formation. Very, very strong horse. Nice two year old. Now turning three, of course, January 1. And by one of the top outfits in the country, Brad Cox. And of course you have Flavian Pratt. The horse has a ton of speed. The number eight horse, Victory Formation, is the horse to beat for sure. That's why he's six to five. Uh, he is our third pick. Eh, I guess if you're playing pick threes, keep him on your ticket. So this year is our first uh, race that we did for the year here. Uh, 2023 is the Smarty Jones out there at beautiful Oakland Park. Uh, we love the number six, five, and eight in that order. Hopefully the weather's holding up. It's pretty nasty here on the East Coast on New Year's Eve. A great day to stay inside and, uh, you know, uh, just chill and watch some movies and some football. We like both of McPeak's or six, five, eight in that order. First race, stake race for us here at the Speed King Channel 2023, Oakland Park. That's how we're starting the year off. Stay classy, y'all. Have a healthy and safe new year. And again, thanks for all your support. And remember, our All Stakes tip sheet will be coming out starting January for sure, probably the weekend of the 5th or the 6th. Have a great weekend. And of course, have a happy and prosperous, healthy new year. Thanks again for all your support.